us. Three doors, three of us. Time to hunt that puto down. Evans, listen. You can't arrest Alvarez. He'll bring us both down. If Alvarez testifies that Dixon is on the cartel's payroll, the hardliners will push for war. Is that what you want? We can't cover this up. Dixon will be handled quietly. All we have to do is tie up a few loose ends. Are you talking about what I think you are? Alvarez, all of them. They need to be taken care of. Are you out of your fucking mind? 150,000 civilians dead in Iraq, Evans. Do you really think an invasion of Mexico will be any less of a bloodbath? The lives of three not very innocent people against who knows how many innocent civilians. Now you think about that. Don't even blink, motherfucker! I got him! In here! You're wasting your time, man. I got friends high up on the food chain. One call, and I'm a free man. No, not this time, Tony. Your friends don't fucking impress whoa, me. Whoa, whoa, what are you doing, man? Jesus Christ, come on, we can work this out. What do you want? I want you to pay for all the fucking misery you've caused. This is for Jess, you evil you son can't, of a McCall. bitch. I want to see Dixon and Waters behind bars. That won't happen without his testimony. And they will give this fucker immunity. And he will skate. Just like he always does. Well, fuck that. Not this time. No fucking way. You know I won't let you kill him. Why the fuck not? There's a shitload of money here. We can split it three ways and no one will ever know. What the hell are you talking about? You're talking about starting over, man. I'm talking about a clean fucking slate. Look, I owe people money. And this could solve all my problems. Jesus Christ! Hey! It's going in somebody's pocket. Some asshole in DC with more juice than us is gonna walk away with all of it, man. A payday like this? We'll be set for life. And I'll be done with this shit. You will never be done, Ese. Shut the fuck up! The FBI paid off all your paper, puto, and in return, they got all kinds of incriminating shit. And they're gonna hold it over your head until the day you're dead. What the hell are you talking about? Ask her! What the hell's he talking about? It's true. How the fuck does Alvarez know about this? Because he's a federal informant. He's our man inside the cartel. You can't kill him, Ben. See, Eddie? They got you by the balls, brother. But my offer still holds. Lying motherfuckers! You got that right. Sometimes you gotta choose the lesser of two evils. Yeah, but in the end, you're still choosing evil. Set for life. All three of us. Split three ways. <laughs> the corruption has apparently spread to the highest levels of the Justice Department, as Alvarez's testimony implicates Assistant Deputy Director Shane Dixon in the scandal. A special Senate committee is looking into any and all links between the Department of Justice and the Mendoza cartel. Members of the interagency task force created by Dixon are all under investigation. DEA agent Edward Guerra is suspected of working with the Mendoza cartel. He is accused of complicity in the murder of Jessica Stone, the daughter of the FBI agent killed in the bombing and the only witness in the case. Also accused of complicity in the Stone murder is FBI Special Agent Kimberly Evans. In addition, she's being charged with the shooting death of retired FBI agent Kevin Donlevy. 
The Deputy Attorney General has promised his full cooperation with any investigation. The Special Interagency Task Force has been, on balance, a success. The Mendoza cartel has been crushed. And Michael Duke, CEO of Peacekeepers International, was killed while resisting arrest. His entire organization has been implicated in the smuggling and distribution of illegal military weaponry. More importantly, the tensions between Mexico and the U.S. have calmed considerably. We have come together as allies, working side by side for the common good. Joe Miguel, LA Times. Some believe this scandal has revealed a shocking weakness in our domestic security apparatus. Would you care to comment on that? A free country is always exposed to such dangers. The very freedom that protects us also can make us vulnerable, as we all experienced on September 11th. But it is the rule of law and our Constitution that is the backbone and strength of our democracy. With tools like the Federal Witness Protection Program, we can protect those who step forward like Mr. Alvarez, who testified against his former employers because he had the courage to do the right thing. Mr. Alvarez will have a second chance. And isn't that what this country is all about? Hasta la vista, pendejos! How many will die if there's a war? Where are you? Motherfucking bitch. The Special Interagency Task Force has been a huge success. The Mendoza Cartel has been completely crushed. And Michael Duke, CEO of Peacekeepers International, was killed while resisting arrest. His entire organization has been implicated in the smuggling and distribution of illegal military weaponry. 
More importantly, the tensions between Mexico and the U.S. have calmed considerably. We've come together as allies, working side by side for the common good. Now I think I have time to take one or two questions. Joe Miguel, LA Times. You've been asked to take over for your boss as deputy director. Will you accept the nomination? It's a great honor to serve this country in any capacity I can. But any success we've achieved is entirely due to the actions of our agents in the field. Two heroic individuals, Detective Benjamin McCall and DEA agent Edward Guerra, gave their lives to make this nation a safer place. And I promise you that their sacrifice will not be in vain. We at Justice will not rest until we put an end to the bitter scourge of narco-terrorism, which is why today we are here to honor another very brave individual, FBI Special Agent Kimberly Evans. <laughs> for exhibiting exceptional courage and bringing to justice those who would threaten our way of life. Agent Evans is awarded the FBI Medal of Valor. Congratulations. Miss Dixon, what just happened? Why did Agent Evans uh, slap Dixon, you? Miss Dixon, would you like to make a statement? 